Imagine your mind as a vast garden. Each positive thought is a seed of hope and optimism, which with care and attention, blossoms into vibrant realities. By focusing on the bright side of situations, you cultivate unshakable resilience and attract enriching opportunities, turning challenges into stepping stones for success. In this mental garden, it is essential to tend to the soil and environmental conditions so that each seed of positive thought has the chance to sprout and grow. This means nourishing your mind with experiences and knowledge that strengthen your ability to see the world through a positive lens. Reading inspiring books, engaging in uplifting conversations and dedicating time to hobbies that feed your soul are ways to enrich this soil. Moreover, regularly watering this garden with mindfulness and meditation practices helps keep the ground fertile for the growth of new positive ideas. These practices help clear the mind, reducing the noise of stress and anxiety, and allow you to reconnect with your deepest intentions and values. By practicing mindfulness, you become more aware of your automatic thoughts and can deliberately choose to cultivate those that are more constructive and optimistic. Exposure to sunlight symbolizes the need to expose yourself to environments and situations that illuminate and energize. People who radiate positivity and places that resonate with positive energy are like the sun to the garden, essential for the growth of healthy and robust thoughts. Seeking out these connections and environments not only accelerates the growth of a positive mindset, but also protects against the erosion caused by negativity and toxicity. However, like any garden, there will be weeds, negative thoughts that arise and threaten to suffocate your young and vibrant plants. The ability to identify and remove these weeds is crucial. This may involve recognizing harmful or limiting thought patterns and consciously practicing replacing them with more positive and empowering alternatives. This mental weeding process is ongoing and requires vigilance and dedication. Another effective strategy for growing a positive mental garden is the practice of gratitude. By taking time each day to reflect on what is good in your life, you naturally cultivate a state of appreciation that can transform your overall perspective. Gratitude, like a powerful fertilizer, enriches the soil of your mental garden, making it rich and receptive to new positive possibilities. In addition to practicing gratitude, it is equally important to celebrate your victories, no matter how small. Every achievement, every step forward, is a fruit of your mental garden that deserves recognition and celebration. These celebrations reinforce your belief in your ability to positively influence your life, encouraging you to keep planting and cultivating. Cultivating a rich and vibrant mental garden is not an overnight task. It requires patience, persistence, and above all, a continuous belief in the power of positive thinking. As you dedicate yourself to caring for this garden, you will find that not only do your attitudes become more positive, but your actions also begin to reflect this positivity. This, in turn, influences the people around you, creating a virtuous cycle of positivity that extends beyond your personal space. Thus, by deliberately cultivating a garden of positive thoughts, you not only improve your own life, but also contribute to a more hopeful and optimistic world. Positivity, like flowers in a well-tended garden, has a contagious power that can transform not only your own life, but also the lives of those around you. And as you continue to nurture this garden, remember that each positive thought, each seed planted, can grow and become a powerful force for good in your life and the lives of others. As you reflect on the power of positive thinking, also consider the importance of incorporating gratitude into your daily life. 2. Embracing gratitude in everyday life. Gratitude is not just a feeling, it is a daily practice. Start your day by listing three things you are grateful for 
and you will notice a profound shift in your perspective. This simple action brightens your daily life, making it more welcoming and less intimidating, and connects you more deeply to the small joys that weave the tapestry of life. This morning exercise serves as a reminder that, despite challenges and difficulties, there are always elements in our lives that deserve recognition and appreciation. These moments of reflection increase our emotional resilience as they help us build a buffer against the adversities we may face during the day. The practice of gratitude trains us to shift our focus from our losses to our blessings, which significantly enhances our overall well-being. Throughout the day, try to maintain this attitude of gratitude. When something good happens, whether big or small, take a conscious pause to acknowledge and appreciate that moment. It can be something as simple as a friend's smile, a perfectly made cup of coffee, or the comfort of your bed at the end of a long day. Recognizing these details enriches your daily experience, adding layers of value and meaning to your routine. Incorporating gratitude into your daily interactions can also transform the way you connect with others. Expressing gratitude to those around you not only strengthens your relationships, but also creates a more positive and welcoming environment. This can be as simple as sincerely thanking a colleague for their help or complimenting a friend for their resilience. These gestures of appreciation are powerful and create a positive cycle of kindness and mutual recognition. Another powerful aspect of gratitude is its ability to transform challenges into opportunities for learning and growth. When facing a difficult situation, try to identify something you can be grateful for. Perhaps the challenge is helping you develop a new skill, or maybe it is revealing who your true allies are. This perspective not only lightens the weight of the circumstances, but also gives you a firmer foundation to face adversities. Gratitude can also be cultivated through meditation and journaling. Spend a few minutes each day meditating on the things you are grateful for. This can be done through a guided gratitude meditation or simply sitting in silence and reflecting on the positive aspects of your life. Similarly, keeping a gratitude journal where you write down details about what brought you joy during the day can be a powerful tool for increasing your awareness and appreciation of daily blessings. Besides being a source of personal joy, the practice of gratitude has proven benefits for physical and mental health. Studies show that people who regularly practice gratitude report fewer aches and illnesses and experience better quality sleep. They also tend to have lower levels of stress and depression. These benefits demonstrate that gratitude is not just about feeling good. It is a vital part of a healthy life. By making gratitude an integral part of your life, you not only enhance your health and happiness, but also equip yourself to face life with a more resilient and optimistic spirit. Gratitude makes each day richer and more fulfilling and provides a lens through which you can view the world in a more positive and rewarding way. As you continue to explore and deepen your gratitude practice, you naturally begin to notice the profound impact that self-compassion can have on your life. 3. The Importance of Self-Compassion Being kind to yourself is essential. In a world that often demands perfection, Self-compassion is the refuge that allows you to recognize your limitations without self-judgment. Accepting yourself completely is the first step towards a life of greater inner peace and satisfaction, enabling you to navigate life's ups and downs with grace and balance. Self-compassion involves treating yourself with the same kindness and care you would offer a good friend. Often, we are our harshest critics, reprimanding ourselves for failures or setbacks with a severity we would never use with others. This harsh treatment only fuels a cycle of negativity and stagnation. In contrast, approaching yourself with understanding and kindness facilitates overcoming obstacles and promoting personal growth. 
Implementing self-compassion in daily life can start with the simple act of recognizing when you are being self-critical and consciously choosing a kinder approach. For example, if you fail at a task, instead of mentally punishing yourself, acknowledge that everyone has moments of failure and that each mistake is an opportunity for learning. Speak to yourself with encouragement, identifying what can be improved and recognizing the effort made, regardless of the outcome. Besides changing the internal dialogue, self-compassion also includes taking care of yourself physically and emotionally. This can mean ensuring you get enough rest, eating nutritiously and creating space in your life for leisure and relaxation. We often neglect these basic needs in the name of obligations and responsibilities, but they are fundamental to maintaining our well-being. Another beneficial practice is the use of compassion-focused meditation. Guided meditations that emphasize loving-kindness towards yourself can help reinforce feelings of self-acceptance and care. These moments of reflection allow you to connect with your emotional needs offering space and tranquility to process and accept your emotions without judgment. It is also helpful to set healthy boundaries. This includes learning to say no when necessary and recognizing when certain situations or demands are more harmful than helpful. Establishing and maintaining clear boundaries is a form of self-respect and an extension of self-compassion as it allows you to protect yourself and prioritize your own well-being. Self-compassion is not just about facing adversities, it also involves celebrating your successes and recognizing your qualities. Often we focus so much on our failures that we forget to value our victories and positive attributes. Regularly taking inventory of your achievements and qualities can boost your self-esteem and promote a more balanced self-image. Integrating self-compassion into your life creates a solid foundation of self-respect and self-love, which increases your resilience and ability to engage with life more fully and meaningfully. As you become more compassionate towards yourself, you naturally begin to radiate this kindness outward, positively influencing your relationships and environments. Thus, by cultivating self-compassion, you not only improve your quality of life, but also strengthen your ability to contribute positively to the world around you. This self-care and self-love are vital for holistic health, as taking care of the mind is as important as taking care of the body. For holistic health, taking care of mind and body. Health is not just the absence of disease, it is a vibrant state of physical, mental and emotional well-being. Integrating activities like meditation, physical exercise, and a balanced diet into your routine not only strengthens your body, but also clears your mind and enriches your spirit, creating a virtuous cycle of health and happiness. The concept of holistic health leads us to consider all dimensions of the human being, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual, as parts of an interconnected whole. Each aspect of our health influences the others, and imbalances in one area can cause problems in another. For example, emotional stress can lead to digestive issues or insomnia, while insufficient physical activity can affect our mood and mental well-being. Incorporating meditation into your daily life is a powerful way to care for your mental and emotional health. Taking time to meditate helps reduce stress anxiety and depression while increasing mental clarity and concentration. Regular meditation practice can transform how you handle challenges, allowing for a calmer and more considered response to stressful situations. On the physical side, regular exercise is indispensable. It not only improves physical condition and combats diseases, but also releases endorphins, the so-called happiness hormones, which help improve mood and reduce the perception of pain. Whether through vigorous activities like running and swimming or gentler practices like yoga and walking, the important thing is to find a form of movement that you enjoy and can maintain regularly. 
Nutrition also plays a crucial role in holistic health. A balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, lean proteins and whole grains can provide the body with essential nutrients for optimal functioning. Moreover, mindful eating can improve your relationship with food, helping you recognize hunger and fullness signals, promoting better digestion and preventing overeating. Besides taking care of the body and mind, holistic health also involves nurturing the spirit. This can include engaging with the community, dedicating time to hobbies that bring joy, and practicing gratitude and kindness. These activities not only provide a sense of purpose and satisfaction, but also strengthen emotional resilience and promote a sense of connection and well-being. Sleep is another vital component of holistic health. The quality and quantity of sleep directly affect our energy, mood, mental capacity, and even physical health. Establishing a regular sleep routine and creating a conducive environment for rest, such as a dark and quiet room, can significantly improve sleep quality. Stress management is another key area. Finding effective ways to deal with stress is essential for maintaining health on all levels. Techniques such as deep breathing, mindfulness and connecting with nature can help reduce daily tension and promote a sense of inner peace. Regular self-assessment is important for maintaining a state of holistic health. This includes periodic medical checkups, self-examinations and being attentive to the signals from your body and mind that may indicate the need for lifestyle changes. By embracing health as a vibrant and multifaceted state, you equip yourself to live with more energy, purpose and joy. This commitment to holistic health not only improves your quality of life, but also prepares you to explore new adventures and experiences with a revitalized and open spirit, leading you to the next stage of your journey, the adventure of trying new things. Five. The adventure of trying new things. Stepping out of your comfort zone can be surprisingly invigorating. Trying new hobbies, learning a new skill, or simply changing the route of your walk can reignite the flame of curiosity and enthusiasm for life. Each new experience is a doorway to a world of discoveries and personal growth. When you allow yourself to explore uncharted territories, whether it's learning a new language, practicing a different sport, or even trying new flavors in a cuisine you've never had before, you're not only having fun but also expanding your mental and emotional boundaries. These new activities challenge your brain to think in different ways, increasing your mental agility and adaptability. Moreover, the pursuit of new experiences can strengthen your self-confidence. Each new challenge overcome is proof of your capability and resilience. This is especially true for activities that may initially seem intimidating. By facing these challenges, you not only prove to yourself that you are capable of more than you imagined, but also build a robust sense of self-efficacy. Engaging in new experiences can also be a powerful way to redefine your perspective on life. Often, we become so entangled in our routines and the minutiae of our daily lives that we lose sight of the bigger picture. By breaking away from the usual, even temporarily, you can gain new insights into your life and the world around you, which can lead to significant changes in your attitude and behavior. Socialization is another invaluable benefit of trying new things. Many activities, such as dance classes, hiking groups, or art courses, offer the opportunity to meet new people, enriching your social and emotional life. These new friendships can provide support, inspiration, and a new network of contacts that can be useful in various areas of your life. To make exploring new experiences more fruitful, it's helpful to approach them with an open mind and without expectations. Allow yourself to be a beginner and be open to learning rather than worrying about doing everything perfectly. This is a time to explore and have fun, not to judge your performance. Additionally, documenting your experiences 
can be a great way to reflect on what you've learned and how you've grown. Keeping an adventure journal or even sharing your experiences on social media can help solidify the new knowledge and inspire others to explore new horizons as well. It's also important to remember that the adventure of trying new things doesn't have to be grand or extremely challenging. Small changes, like trying a new restaurant or delving into a new literary genre, can be equally enriching. The goal is simply to break the routine and add a bit of novelty and excitement to your life. By embracing the adventure of exploring new experiences, you not only enrich your life with fun and learning, but also pave the way for continuous and meaningful personal growth. These experiences are the building blocks for a richer, more fulfilled life and are crucial for defining and achieving goals that reflect your aspirations and values. As six, setting achievable goals. Clear and attainable objectives are the roadmap to your desired destination. By setting goals that challenge and motivate you but are within your reach, you create a sense of direction and purpose. Celebrating each small success along the way is not only gratifying, but also fuels your journey toward even greater achievements. The art of setting achievable goals begins with understanding your current capabilities and your future aspirations. This involves an honest self-assessment where you recognize your strengths and identify areas that need development. From this understanding, you can establish goals that are both challenging and realistic, providing a balance between the desire for growth and the practical possibility of achieving your goals. An effective method for setting goals is the SMART technique, which means goals should be specific, measurable, achievable, relevant and time-bound. A specific goal is clear and leaves no room for ambiguity making it easier to focus on the steps needed to achieve it. Measurable goals allow you to track your progress objectively, which is essential for maintaining motivation. Ensuring that your goals are achievable and relevant ensures they are suitable for your life context and long-term objectives. Finally, setting a deadline provides the necessary sense of urgency to keep the momentum going. When planning your goals, it's also important to break down large objectives into smaller, more manageable steps. This not only makes the process less intimidating, but also allows you to experience success at regular intervals, which can be extremely motivating. Each small success serves as a milestone in your journey, reinforcing your self-confidence and determination to reach the next stage. Moreover, it's crucial to be prepared to adjust your goals as needed. Life is unpredictable and new circumstances may require you to reassess and modify your plans. Flexibility does not mean a lack of commitment, but rather an adaptive capability that is vital for long-term success. Be open to learning from each experience and willing to make necessary changes to align your goals with your current reality. Regularly tracking your progress is another important aspect. This can be done through progress journals, checklists, or review meetings with a mentor or coach. These periodic reviews allow you to reflect on what is working and what needs improvement, keeping you on track toward your goals. Staying motivated throughout the process is essential. Find sources of inspiration that keep you engaged and enthusiastic about your goals, this could include connecting with a community of individuals with similar interests, seeking out success stories related to your goals, or visualizing the benefits you will gain by achieving your goals. Remember that goal setting is a dynamic and interactive process. It is a tool to help you live intentionally, directing your energies and resources toward what is most important to you. By learning to set and pursue achievable goals, you not only enhance your ability to accomplish great things, but also find meaning and satisfaction in the efforts you undertake, leading you to discover the joy in what you do. Seven, 
Finding joy in what you do. True joy arises when you find meaning and passion in your daily activities. Whether at work, in hobbies, or spending time with family, seeking satisfaction in the process, not just the final result, transforms every moment into an opportunity for happiness. Living with passion is the essence of a life fully lived. Discovering joy in daily activities begins with identifying what truly resonates with your deepest values and passions. It can be as simple as the art of preparing a meal for your family, the intellectual challenge found in your work, or the serenity that comes with a hobby like gardening or painting. When your actions align with what you value, each task becomes more meaningful and consequently more rewarding. Additionally, incorporating mindfulness into your daily activities can profoundly intensify the joy you experience. Mindfulness involves being completely present and engaged in the current moment, without judgment. When you fully concentrate on the task at hand, every detail can become a source of satisfaction. For example, during a walk, you can focus on the feeling of the sun on your skin, the crunch of leaves underfoot, or the freshness of the air you breathe, deepening your connection to the moment and finding joy in the simplest experiences. Celebrating small victories is another crucial element in finding joy in what you do. Often, people focus only on major achievements, but learning to recognize and appreciate the small successes of everyday life can transform your experience. These small victories provide a constant boost of motivation and reinforce a sense of progress and personal efficacy. Creating an environment that supports your passion is equally important. This might mean organizing your workspace to inspire creativity, surrounding yourself with people who encourage your aspirations, or even customizing your routine to include more of what you love. Environments that reflect and support your passions encourage a state of flow, where you can become completely absorbed in the pleasure of the activity. Another aspect is detachment from outcomes. By focusing on the process rather than the result, you free yourself from expectations that often obscure the joy that could be found in the doing. This approach allows you to engage in the task with an open mind and a willing heart, exploring possibilities without the burden of predetermined outcomes. Thus, even the most routine activities can become sources of discovery and delight. It's also essential to allow yourself to experiment and explore new areas of interest. Sometimes, joy hides in hobbies and activities you never considered before. Allowing yourself to be curious and open to new experiences can reveal new passions and, by extension, new sources of joy. Regularly reflecting on the things that bring you joy can help realign your priorities and adjust your life accordingly. This reflection can be done through journaling, meditation or conversations with loved ones. By understanding what truly makes you happy and actively seeking more of those activities, you transform your life into a continuous journey of joy. Finding joy in what you do is not just about grand gestures or dramatic changes. It's about appreciating the process, celebrating the small things, and aligning your daily actions with your deepest values. With these practices, each day offers a new opportunity to experience true happiness and live a full and vibrant life. If you've made it this far, you're different from the rest. You're seeking knowledge in a world where most are distracted by superficial things. Show that you're different and join us. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. If you have something to say, leave your opinion in the comments. Otherwise, write, I am here so I know you've made it this far. Until next time, warrior.